Same with the spinning wheel. Your conditions change, the yarns, the fibers that you're doing, you need to be able to adjust that fiber. The idea as a at the treadle is to have a comfortable treadling cadence that you use pretty much all the time. And you simply, with the change of the drive bands over here, change your, your speeds. Um, this is a double drive flyer. And um, the speeds result from this little pulley, or whirl as we call that, uh, being able to be placed on this flyer and substituted on this flyer with uh, larger or smaller whirls. So here you have a smaller one. This is going to make this flyer rotate faster. A much larger whirl will uh, make the, uh, the flyer go slower and will result in twist developing slower uh, on your spinning wheel. On a single drive spinning wheel, there's no separate uh, uh, whirls or pulleys. They're built into and are part of the flyer. You, you can't pull them off and replace them with, with something else. So in order to augment the, uh, the change of speeds or adding or subtracting or lowering the speeds on your, your single drive wheel, you have to uh, replace the, uh, the flyer. And most manufacturers, certainly the Kromskys, make for the single drive a, uh, a faster flyer and they make a slower flyer, what we call the jumbo flyer, and that just changes the diameter of these uh, whirls or pulleys that are built into it. Um, wheels tend to be classified as slow, medium, and fast wheels, and generally what we're talking about there is the high-end ratios that come with the wheels. Some wheels, the high-end ratio may be 10 or 11, and that's not very, very good for a variety of different spinning circumstances, but if you have uh, Romney sheep in your backyard and that's all you're spinning, uh, perhaps a slow wheel is all you, you need, but uh, you'll never be able to have those faster ratios should you ever change to some other types of fiber or other type of yarn that you're going to be spinning. Uh, a medium wheel uh, speed ratio of 13 or 14 to 1 uh, is good. And on those wheels, you're probably going to have ratios that on the low end are in the five or six range, and, and that's, that's good. And for many spinners, they live in that medium range, uh, and they're happy, particularly if they're not interested in efficiencies or uh, amount of yarn produced. Um, they're happy, and they can, they can, they can live with that. Um, but if they had the option to add on something, uh, change a, uh, to a, a smaller whirl, uh, change a flyer to get into the 16, 17, 18 range, uh, that's where we start talking about a wheel being a fast wheel. Uh, 16, 18, 20 to 1 as a ratio on the high end uh, is a fast wheel. Uh, generally those wheels have ratios as low as 6 or 8 and by adding on a, a, a flyer or a, a whirl you can get them slower or even even faster than that. So. Uh, what ratios do you need on a wheel? To a certain extent, that depends on the fibers that you're going to be spinning and the yarn that you're going to be producing. And in the back of your mind, how efficient you want to be, whether you want to think of yourself as a production uh, machine, uh, taking full advantage of your wheel and, and, and the, the ratios and, and generating as much yarn as you can, uh, whether you're just a uh, a comfortable enjoying uh, the, the, the spinning aspects uh, you're not interested in efficiencies or or production output um, you have to determine that what, what you're going to be um, but if you can invest initially in a wheel that gives you a wider range of ratios either out of the box or by adding on a, a, a simply a, a smaller whirl um, you preserve for yourself the ability down the road to uh, to get those higher speeds or those those lower speeds and that's really what you want to to, to invest in the, the future what your wheel can do for you uh, a faster wheel is not necessarily better than a medium or a slow wheel it depends on your preferences and the types of fibers and types of of your yarn you're going to going to be using um, if you have a slow wheel can you spin a fine yarn that requires more twist Absolutely. That's not a problem. 
you have to compensate though in a way that's not going to be related to the mechanics of the wheel. You're going to have to treadle faster. You're going to have to uh, slow down your delivery of yarn onto the bobbin so more twist will build up. And both of those things are, are not really necessarily comfortable things that you want to do, uh, particularly if you're an efficient spinner, to actually slow down that production rate over here in your hands is a, it's a waste of time. All right? um, treadling faster may be good for those of us that uh, want to lose some weight, but uh, generally you want a, a regular cadence that you use for all the different speeds on the wheel. Just let the wheel change those characteristics, the how fast this flyer is going. And uh, that's a, a better solution than treadling faster or getting that yarn onto the bobbin in, in, in a slower manner or combining those two. For a short period of time, uh, uh, treadling faster is usually not a problem. But if you're producing a lot of fine yarn after a while, it's uh, just probably not where you want to be. So look at ratios, understand them, uh, Determine what they are in your wheel if you don't already know. If you're out buying a wheel, look at that uh, maximum range you can get the out of the box or with add-ons. Uh, preserve that uh, ability to go faster or to go slower. Or if you're just a spinner that enjoys sitting down and uh, using your wheel and making yarn and not being concerned about how many yards I produce in an hour, um, put the ratios in the back of your head. Don't. Don't, don't obsess with them. Uh, I promise not to bring this topic up again unless there's a, a great demand for it. Uh, but I hope that uh, this will help you uh, in your day-to-day -day spinning. Tim Horschler with Tim Talks, uh, New Voyager Trading. Check back, we're adding videos all the time. And if there's a topic that you would like us to address, um, just send us an email and we'll try to work it into our production schedule. Thanks so much.